Our big story tonight, a Covington family believes they're alive because of last week's carbon monoxide poisoning in Troy. Natasha Williams shows us the life-saving purchase you should consider putting in your home as well. Jim Hutchinson bought this house 13 years ago, but never had a CO detector until he saw our story about three teens in Troy that died. Never even thought about it. Jim Hutchinson talks about a decision he made that possibly saved his family's life. Yeah, I've seen stories throughout the years and it just, but nothing ever made me want to go out and buy one. But just days after he took a trip to Menards in Covington on what he thought was a very typical night, he was at his computer and his boys were watching TV. A piercing sound rang out. It was the carbon monoxide detector he went to Menards and almost didn't buy. Wasn't sure what was the best one or, you know, so, but just something told me, hey, you need one, buy one. Three days later, that carbon monoxide detector was ringing. He thought it was malfunctioning, but quickly realized it wasn't. I took the battery out, you know, put a new battery in, uh, reset it, plugged it back in, and within a minute, it started going off again. I, at that point, I didn't hesitate. I sent my wife, kids, and told them to grab the pets and go out to the car. I called 911. Hutchinson says as soon as firefighters arrived to check his home, their CO detector started to alarm. And by the time they got to the basement, it was already reading 400 parts per million. He showed us what experts told him. Right there at the elbow is where everything was caught up. And now, even days after, he still chokes up when he thinks about what if he hadn't spent that $21. Just doesn't make any any sense why after, you know, all that time and then, you know, to purchase it and then somebody had to be telling me something, you know, obviously, you know, somebody was looking out for, you know, me and my family and now the Hutchinsons had the flu clean today, but they're still monitoring their CO levels to make sure they're acceptable. Reporting in Covington, Natasha Williams, Fox 45 News.